Hey, what's going on guys? So I know I made a video about this helmet a couple of months back. I think actually it was last year, but I actually made a couple of changes on this helmet since making that Fly of the Concords movie because I learned a lot from that short. So let me go ahead and go over uh, how this helmet works. I know I've been getting a lot of questions about this thing because people thought it was actually a legit mocap helmet. It is abs It is so far away from a legit mocap helmet. This is just a bicycle helmet that I owned like a long time ago and I just like to keep stuff for this reason really because I probably end up using it. So let's talk about it a little bit. Basically all I did was took a bicycle helmet that I got from probably a super center somewhere. I took a GoPro sticky that you can buy at Walmart or any place. It's like the little sticky stuff. And then I bought an arm on Amazon right here so you can see. And then at the end of that arm, I have an Insta360 One R, okay? And then on the back, I actually have a cheese plate that I got from my DSLR days. And then right here, I just have a zip tie, zip tie in it. Now this cheese plate is for counterweights. So if I have something really heavy up front, I can screw in, because this cheese plate actually has a quarter 20 holes. There's a bunch of quarter 20 holes on the back that I can put little weights in, gimbal stabilizer weights you can put right here and it's gonna balance that rig really well. Now I had to purchase a new sticky because if you've seen my previous video using this helmet, I didn't actually center this properly. So it was actually on the side. So now I recentered it so that when I wear it, so you can see it is actually right in front of my face. Before it was like right here on the side and it screwed up quite a bit of shots to be honest, but I'm hoping by having it centered on my head like this, it will capture it a little bit better. Now additionally, by doing it this way, I can see, all right? And that is one of the hardest part that I'm actually learning right now. And I'll talk about that a little bit more later, but being able to look at something is so important because as you all know, whenever you're motion capturing something, your eyes need to move a lot. And you guys saw that a lot of my videos. And that's because with this thing on, it was blocking my way. And I'm starting to understand why the, uh, like the face wear helmet, and I'll talk about that in a minute, they have it on the lower end of things, like right here by the neck. It's still a helmet, but it's right here because that opens up your vision because you need to be able to look around and look at something. So it's better if you can free up the upper area so it's not blocking your vision, but this will have to do for now. I'm gonna to have to really work with it. And additionally, when I was when I was buying those sticky stuff at Walmart for the GoPro mount, I ran into this. It's a Bauer, and I think I have the box here somewhere. When I went to Walmart to replace the sticky that I had before, here's the, what I bought, by the way. It's the mount and spare parts for the GoPro right here, and it also has a vertical mount, which I tried using. It didn't work out because it would be on the side again. So this is what I came to Walmart for, and then it's crazy what you can find at Walmart nowadays. And like on the left of it was this thing. It's a 50 LED video light for creators, I guess for iPhone TikTokers or whatever. But this thing is this, and it is a LED light. Now, before I was using the Aperture Amaran, I think that's what it's called, or uh, shoot, I don't, I don't remember, but that was pretty heavy. It's good quality, and I love that light, but it's really heavy on the rig, but this right here, it's plastic. All right, and I can turn it on. Actually, you have to hold it to turn it on. And just like that, you have your light. Now, I have a blue filter in front of it because it is really bright. If I take this off, even in a minimum setting, even if I, even in the minimum setting, if I take this off, this is minimum right now. This is what's gonna be blasting right in front of my face. Now I was actually thinking about gaff taping half of this light and only use 25 of them because it is really bright. You can get a really bad headache with lights blasting in front of your eyes like that all day. But with the little blue filter, I mean, that's tolerable, right? And again, and this is the whole vision thing that I was telling you about, because the way I'm mounting this on the camera is just my wife's hair tie, which works really well. So basically, I'll put this on. 
you can kind of see it on the side, right? And then I'm gonna have this light grab a hair tie or a rubber band and I'm just gonna hair tie it right here so it's in front of me, but watch what happens when I have that light. And this is why I needed a smaller light, all right? See how when I'm looking forward, I can't see anything anymore. Now, I can probably add the light at the bottom like this, but I'll have to figure out a way how to do that so that it's not blocking my vision. Because like I said, I need to be able to look in front of me. Because if I'm looking to the side and I'm supposed to be looking straight, it's not gonna work. So maybe if I mount it on the bottom of the camera, that would be a little bit better. But you know, this is kind of just like a DIY kind of deal. Obviously, I mean, with this setup here, with this setup here, you got a $15 helmet. I think the arm's like 20 bucks. Overall, you're probably looking at maybe $75, $100. So it's not gonna be like, amazing but it works for my purpose all right so if you don't want to go the diy route face where they do sell a system for indies which actually includes a gopro 7 if i remember correctly it's pretty well made and it's really lightweight and again like i said the head part the camera is mounted on the lower part and it's actually like right in front of your mouth lower than this which is perfect because you can see around you a lot better than this because with this I'm having to guess quite a lot now obviously if you can have some suggestions I would love to absolutely know how I can do the same thing with this setup but I'm pretty limited with this thing check that out but I know people have been asking about this helmet because they thought it was a legit helmet it's not it's a bike helmet with a GoPro mount and this light with my wife's hair tie and a GoPro adhesive she's played on the back zip tie and that's pretty much it all right guys if you have any other questions let me know and i'll see you guys later so you want to make a movie in unreal engine 4 using the new meta human characters but don't know how to do it well i got the video just for you